Hello, hello everyone. We are back. Got two more bad endings to do. Today we're doing Kaguya, and I'm also doing a little experimentation. So this may end absolutely poorly for me, but I'm curious. This is the second time the wizard asks us if we're going to choose someone to be our husband instead of the first. And I want to see if it affects anything. So I'm going to say yes. Then we're going to skip. Okay, it doesn't count Cinderella or the others. Interesting. So we pick Kaguya, what happens? I've decided to choose Kaguya. At this, the wizard smiled brightly. I see. He knows how to treat a lady, so I'm sure he'll make you happy. Yeah. Well then, the crisis has been averted. Looks like I'm done here. Thank you for everything, Mr. Wizard. No, I barely did anything at all. You were the one who made the choice. I wish the two of you all the best. Thank you. And so the two of us went our separate ways. He knows how to treat a lady. Later, I waited for the chance to speak to Kaguya privately. Knock, knock. Bamboo house. Kaguya! Hmm? What's going on, then? Guess what? I've made my decision, and I choose you. I'm in love with you, so... <laughs> Kaguya cut in with an awkward laugh. Kaguya? Sorry. I'm honored you feel that way, really, but... I can't marry you, Poppet. Rude. After he rejected me, I wandered aimlessly with no set destination in mind, but at night time now. I can't marry you. I never expected him to say those words to me. Why? Why didn't my feelings get through to him? I thought they all said they wanted me to choose them. Wait, what the? Okay, I'm actually... Hold on, I'm gonna save here. Because I don't want to have to have the whole conversation with Alice again if it's the same one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I'm uh, I'm just gonna reload and do this from the one I was supposed to have done it from. Which is this one. This is what experimenting does to me. Okay, so I've chose Kaguya. You know, such a lady, blah, 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 blah. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I still tell him at the same... That's middle of the day. Okay, that's interesting. So it affects the time of day in the background, but that's basically all that changes. Yeah, and then this counts as, like, previously read. Okay. Well, that was my experiment for the day. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to like skip over all these memory things, but hey. It was for science and science slapped me in the face and said, what do you think you're doing? Follow your walkthrough. <laughs> all right, I'm following my walkthrough, no. Where am I getting killed this time? Kaguya, surprise me. It shouldn't be the cabin again, because that would not make sense. Not to me. Okay. In the end, we failed to learn the truth before the night of the full moon. Seeing as the blackmail letter specified the moon, I figured they would probably wait until night to try anything. Trembling in fear of my imminent demise, I headed to the living room. Okay. Lights are off again. When I arrived, I found it very quiet. Then I turned on the light. And then it was daytime. But no matter how long I waited, no one ever came. Eventually, the whole place started to feel foreign. Frightened, I ran out of the house. No breakfast this time. Okay. Kaguya! I searched and searched for him, but he was nowhere to be found. The lake. I called it. 
When I arrived at the lake, I crouched down and curled into a ball. Why? I wished he was with me, but it was too late now. <laughs> and then I was drowned. I buried my face in my hands, sobbing from anxiety and stress. But time kept ticking. Before long, the sun set and night fell. After my tears had dried, I gazed out at the lake. Then I spotted someone out in the water. It was Kaguya. I recognized him by his distinctive silhouette. Kaguya! I called out to him. But he didn't look at me. He just kept staring up at the moon. Why do you have to give me these feels now? Kaguya, wait! I ran out into the lake. Just then, something grabbed my leg and yanked hard. I stumbled and fell face first into the water. <laughs> I flailed my limbs. The thing that grabbed me wasn't seaweed. It had hands. At least it didn't have tentacles. It was trying to pull me under the water. It was trying to drown me. It was trying to kill me. As I flailed, I looked up ahead and realized Kaguya's silhouette had vanished. In his place, the big, round, full moon was there to greet me. Mocking me. The strength drained from my limbs and I lost the will to fight. Then I closed my eyes and let them kill me. I'm sorry. It's you! You're... my... <laughs> and so I was consumed by the darkness. Oh, we were so close to getting answers there. Come on, Eureka. Come on, Eureka. Suddenly you find yourself lost in a world of darkness. Where am I? I keep walking and walking, but I can't seem to find a single exit. It's so dark, I can't see a thing. I can't even tell how far I've walked or how much time has passed. No matter where you go, the scenery around you remains static and unchanging. It's like the darkness has consumed everything. All sense of direction, even the very concept of time itself. Were you to stand perfectly still and hold your breath, the only sound would be that of your own heartbeat. What am I doing here? Who am I? But no one was there to answer me. There was only darkness and nothing more. I don't know. I don't know anything. Alright. Nothing new at the very, very end there again. Kaguya's story. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Oh, we got so close there. So you're my blackmailer, killer, uh, my other, my, pff, man. So many ways that sentence could have ended. Since she saw Kaguya out in the lake, I feel like that confirms it isn't each individual boy killing her, at least. Possibly? Although anything's possible in a dream. We'll find out, maybe, in Gretel's ending. Can't believe I'm saying this, but Gretel, you're my last hope. <laughs> See you for that, guys. Down, never gonna touch here is a kid, kid, kid.